It was Valentine's Day, my freshman year of high school. I was so young, the romantic type, and I longed for a boyfriend or secret admirer. I walked the hall seeing couples hold hands, girls with huge smiles on their faces, and dozens of roses being delivered to that special someone. All I wanted was a rose, a single rose to brighten up my Valentine's Day. But I was picky. I didn't want the rose from my parents, my sister, or even my best friend. I wanted it from a secret admirer. Valentine's Day at school was over, and I had no rose to hang in my locker like I had hoped. I came home a little sad and hoped next year's Valentine's Day would be better. I sat in my room dreaming about next year's romantic Valentine's Day when the doorbell rang. There at the front door was a delivery man bringing one single rose to my house. Surely this rose wasn't for me. I didn't have such luck. I closed the front door with the rose in my hand and gave it to my mother. Open the card, she insisted when I told her it must be for her. I unsealed the envelope as my hands were shaking. Why were my hands shaking? I knew it wasn't for me. I slowly lifted the card and read what it said. To Amanda, from someone who cares. I must have read it 20 times in a matter of seconds, praying my eyes weren't playing tricks on me. But they weren't. The rose was for me. I must have been happy for about five minutes until I started calling the obvious people and accusing them of sending me a rose and playing a joke on my hopelessly romantic heart. No one knew who sent it to me. My friends, family, and relatives were as surprised to hear I got a rose from a secret someone as much as I was. I was on cloud nine for weeks. Every time in high school that I felt down, I would think about my freshman year's Valentine's Day and a smile would appear. Senior year rolled around and the dreaded February 14th was upon us again. This year I received at least six carnations, all from my best friends. I walked around with a big smile on my face holding my flowers. Even though they were just from friends, they made me happy. The end of the day was drawing to a close, and I had two classes left to show off my flowers. I walked into my French class and noticed one of my closest French class friends looking upset. I had grown to know my French classmates pretty well since I had spent three of my high school years with the same people in one class. We turned into a little French family. Well, my friend saw me walk in with my six flowers and lowered her head with tears in her eyes. She hadn't received a single flower, not even from her best friend. We talked for a few minutes before class, and some very familiar words came out of her mouth. All I wanted was one single rose. My heart ached as I heard those words. The familiar sense of loneliness I had felt as a freshman, she was feeling now. I wanted to do something. It was too late to purchase carnations, and I couldn't get her anything on a break because school was almost over. Finally, I figured it out. My freshman year, the single rose, that was it. That was what I had to do. I told my mom about my plan and asked her if we could go try to find a rose after our Valentine's dinner out. She remembered having seen a bucket of roses at a local drugstore, so we rushed over and purchased the last good-looking rose and a small card. In order to preserve my identity, my mom wrote what I had dictated to her in the card. To Kristen, from someone who cares. We drove to her house trying to be discreet. I ran up to the front door, put the rose in her mailbox, ran the doorbell, ran back to the car and drove away. All the feelings of happiness I had felt my freshman year had all come flooding back. I just kept thinking that I was going to make someone feel as special as I had three years earlier. The next day in school, Kristen came up to me and gave me a hug with tears in her eyes. 
She had realized it was me by the handwriting. I guess my mom and I are more alike than I thought. She cried and said it was the nicest thing anyone had done for her in a while. I never did figure out who it was who sent me that rose, but I did figure something else out. It didn't matter if it was a guy who secretly loved me, my mom trying to make me feel loved, or an acquaintance who knew what I needed. What matters was that it was from someone who cared about me and who went out of their way to brighten up my day. The entire law is summed up in a single command. Love your neighbor as yourself. The only thing that counts is faith expressing itself through love. Galatians chapter 5, 14.